Okay, so I got a real quick one for you today. We're gonna look at animation uh, in Godot and Blender. I mentioned in a previous video that animation is really annoying and that there is good integration with NLA tracks. So I wanna show you exactly what that is. Uh, it's a pretty good workaround once you get comfortable with using L NLA tracks, um, but NLA tracks and Blender are also a bit cumbersome to work with. All right, so let's do it. So we're gonna create this cube here maybe drop in another one to the right and then down here uh, usually in layout mode you get this extra panel so that's kind of nice so go to dope sheet and then go to actions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an action here we're gonna create an action here and we're gonna keyframe them in blender 4.1 and forward you have to use K so we press location and here we'll do location uh, and then we'll just scrub to frame 40 and then for this animation, I'm just gonna make the two cubes uh, come together. So we'll do location here and location here. So we have this animation. Now the problem, and if you watched my previous video, you saw it, is that they come in as separate animations. There is a way to fix it, and the way is to use NLA tracks in Blender. So if you hit the push down button here, and then you hit the push down button here, it looks like your anim animations have disappeared. They're not disappeared, they're just, they're no longer the active action, it's the active NLA strip. It, it's really confusing, and honestly, I, I still only know it from, from hacking it together and making it work. Um, but over here, if you go to nonlinear animation, you're gonna see this stuff. Um, this is also wild in, in how much complexity there is here. There's a name here on the left, uh, we'll see in a minute. This name is the really important one. There's a name here, and that's associated with the strip. That name means nothing. Uh, when you import into Godot, it, it has no impact. Uh, and then finally down here is the action clip, which is the actual clip name that we, um, we created. So you'll find that the action strip name up here has no bearing on this down here. So there's a strip, there's the action clip, and then over here, uh, there's the actual NLA track. This is what really matters. If we rename this to move up and rename this to move up, something really nice will happen in Godot. So let's go ahead and do an export. This is not with my add-on. This is just standard GLTF export. And we can control some of the export settings when we do this kind of export. Um, you can't control that with just blend file saving. But we'll do separate, go to animation, and then hit NLA tracks, and we'll hit export. Okay, so let's jump into Godot. I already have um, a scene open, it's just a blank scene, and then this GLTF file just came in. Uh, it's all default settings, there's nothing advanced going on here. We'll drag this in. I'm gonna make it editable just so we can see what's going on. And then right away you're gonna see, this is great. So we have this animation name move up, and both objects have their tracks in that single animation. Um, so, you know, if you haven't messed around with animations, you might be saying to yourself, okay, big deal. Um, but if you just do action exporting, they come in as separate animations in the list here. And it's, it's just really inconvenient. It just doesn't work. Like you want the two objects to move together. So let me show you one more thing. And this is kind of expanding on how to use NLA tracks in Blender. Let's go back to the dope sheet. We're going to create a new action here, a new action here, and then let's do something else. So let's keyframe this at zero keyframe that, and then let's just move them up, let's say. So we'll scrub to 40, pull this one up, keyframe, and maybe this one, I don't know, maybe it goes up less or something, keyframe there. So another animation here, right? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna push it down, and we go over here and we click push down, so we're pushing them to the NLA editor. Back out here, go to nonlinear animation. Now uh, we see these other actions, so we can see Actually, this one should be called move together. You have to make sure the name the same. So right now we have this. If I wanted to switch back to this one, you can. Um, let's see if I remember how to do it. I can't remember how to switch the action back right now. So, oh, here you go. So I think no action, what you would need to do is select an action here. I don't know, it's honestly, Blender is very confusing with this, but forget about what this looks like in Blender. What we're gonna do is we have move up, we're gonna rename this to move up,
and then we have move together. So move up is the current active uh, animation, and then move together was the previous one we did. So let's go ahead and export again. Okay, so I apologize I did some renaming there, but hopefully you could follow along and see what I did. Um, move together still works, that's good. And now we have move up, which is a separate animation. So there you go, that's a quick and dirty uh, how to make animations work in Blender and Godot. There you go.